Hi everyone, I'm uh, out taking my dogs for a walk and I thought that I would uh, make a video and share a little bit of uh, a series that I'm doing on my blog on uh, kind of the biggest frustrations that writers find. So as writers we love to write, right? So we, we uh, or we wouldn't be doing it. So we, we enjoy writing, but uh, there's always frustrations. There are always parts of writing that we really don't like. So I'm doing a kind of a top five things that I've noticed um, that uh, people have complaints about it or they have uh, issues with when it comes to writing. And um, I started with kind of the, the, the number one that people complain about is having a writer's block. So they sit down to write and all of a sudden they are, I'm going to move over here because it seems like it's um, better lighting over here, but uh, they they start writing and then of course you're, you're just kind of staring at the blank screen and that's frustrating because you know a lot of us that aren't really writing full-time we tend to have a limited amount of time we sit down and we have those 30 minutes or we have an hour or or you know however long we have to write and we don't want to spend the time just kind of staring at the screen and so I used to say that really writer's block was not a real thing so um, and, and I kind of still believe that. It's not that it doesn't exist. It's just that it's something that is a secondary problem. So typically, the number one issue with with um, writer's block is that it's, it's caused by fear. It can be caused by a lot of other things. It can be caused by insecurity. It can be caused by not really understanding the topic or just getting to a scene where we're writing something and we find that we don't really know what the character is going to do next. And that comes from not really understanding the character, right? So not have, not creating a character sketch that is um, complete enough so that we actually know how this character is going to behave or what, what that character is going to do. And um, so, you know, that creates a problem there. Uh, and it causes writer's block because we're, we're stuck. We're like, well, okay, we, we've written ourselves into this corner and now we're not really sure how to proceed. So, um, so that's a problem, but, but writer's block tends to be that, right? It tends to be something else. It's, it's either fear, we're going to look stupid, or that we don't know enough information about this topic, and then we get stuck. So the solution to that problem is to really make sure that we deal with that secondary issue, right? So if it is fear of looking um, ridiculous of, of people saying, well, you know, She's, she's not a good writer or, you know, it, it, it's, um, you know, fear is something that is real, obviously, but it's also something that's not real. So it's, it doesn't really matter what somebody else thinks, right? Because um, writing is, is hard and we're, we're uh, attempting to, whether we're writing a novel or writing a, a blog or whatever, right? We're, we're doing the best that we can at that point. And that's fine and that's good enough and obviously we're also it's not going to come out perfect the first time it doesn't for anybody so just going through and saying okay i'm going to now revise it and make it better um but nobody is perfect and it's never it's never it doesn't really matter how many times you revise it it's never going to be absolutely perfect so having that expectation that it that it's going to be wonderful or that people are going to think it's terrible well it doesn't really matter go ahead and write something terrible because uh, there is no perfect writing. Okay, so you just kind of you want to you want to let yourself write terrible stuff and be okay with it. And once you do that, once you say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and allow myself to write, whether however it comes out, and I'll either fix it later to the best of my ability, or you know it'll just be one piece of terrible writing that I did. It really does kind of free you and it and it, and it allows you not to have that that um, that block that keeps you from writing anything. If it's not knowing inf enough information, then just stop writing for a little bit and go find out what you need to find out or go do a little bit more uh, in-depth study on who your character is or what the setting is or whatever it is that you, wherever you feel that you're blocked. Um, so I did write more in-depth about this and I am out here actually walking my little chihuahuas. I don't know if you can see them, but uh, so I'm going to go back to, go back to uh, paying attention to my dogs and uh, I, um, I'm, I'm going to link down at the bottom of the blog so you can read a little bit more about writer's block. But I really, um, I guess my message today is really just to say, you know, don't, don't let writer's block stop you. Figure out what it is that is blocking you and then move forward. Even if you 
actually don't know what to write or you're really just really stuck on something just go back and just say you know I'm just gonna write something I'm, I'm not sure how it's gonna be I'm not sure that uh, I may have to go back and rewrite this I may have to throw it out eventually but don't don't let it stop you just sit there for whatever time you've allowed yourself to write and just start writing something okay and I will see you tomorrow with the second um, issue that people have or frustration that people have with writing